Thanks. Autopsies done on the patients who passed away from COVID-19 may be revealing a new reason for causing people to die from this disease. This morning, our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is joining us to talk about those findings. Good morning. So I understand one new finding from these studies does have doctors concerned. So Gary, it's been very interesting because some of the autopsies on patients who died from COVID-19 are showing a massive systemic clotting disorder. And what they're finding is that there's blood clots in many, many blood vessels in the body, the big ones, the small ones, the arteries, the veins, and in blood vessels going to many different organs, including the heart, the kidneys, the lungs, and the liver. And, you know, the analogy to this would be as if Colorado decided to close down every highway and every side road that existed. You can imagine the mayhem that it would create. And doctors are wondering if this is a possible explanation now because of these blood clots, why these organs may be failing when people are in the intensive care unit. So what, why do they think they're forming? So there's some theories about why this could be happening. Now, when someone is very critically ill, it does activate the immune system, which can trigger kind of a nonspecific clotting um, dis disorder because of the inflammatory response. The immune system being activated can also create antibodies that can actually also trigger your, your clotting system. But the most interesting thing about this is that COVID-19 actually has receptors. The virus has receptors on the walls of the blood vessels. So one of the theories that we're thinking is that it's direct damage to the walls of the blood vessel from the virus itself. Just like it damages the lungs, it can damage the walls of the blood vessels, and that can cause those clotting factors to stick and the clot to form. Boy, that is pretty interesting. So is there, I, make, I guess the follow-up is, is there anything they can do to treat this complication? So this is probably the most challenging part of, of this discovery that we've made is because we're now discovering that these patients have clots all over their body. And previously, based on other data from China, we knew that they also have a tendency to bleed. So their, their clotting cells are actually you know, lower. The platelets is what they're called that make blood clots and the clotting factors are also lower. So you're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place because they have a tendency to clot and a tendency to bleed. And so it, it's a little bit risky to put them on full dose blood thinners. So what doctors are doing is using prophylactic or preventive dose, lower dose blood thinners to try to prevent the blood clots from forming, but at the same time, not increase their risk of bleeding. Boy, we're just learning so much about this uh, all the time, which I guess in the long run will be a good thing. Okay, Dr. Coley, thank you. I know you're gonna stick around and take some viewer questions coming up in the 8.30 hour. So thanks in advance for that.